please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. We have a great show planned for you today. To start things off, we have Darby on the magic window to talk about the 2022 Kentucky Derby, as well as McKenna live in the studio with track and field to talk about their upcoming CIF tournament. What else do we have, Peyton? That's right, Cameron. We also have Max live with speech and debate and Mason Villadejero to talk about the AP testing and finals week. Well, it sounds like we have a very jam-packed show to get things started. I'm Cameron Fisher. I'm Peyton Millard. And CHS TV starts right now. Our story today is on Tim, a Young Life counselor here at Carlsbad High School. Let's roll the piece. Time! Bible! Time! So today we just did lunch club, which we do every Wednesday here in Mr. Anderson's room. Tim Wright, a leader at Young Life, got started in this path a long time ago. So a long time ago, almost six or seven years ago, I, and I was a leader, but wildlife is essentially just middle school Young Life. And I was a leader for all the middle schoolers there, and it changed my life. And I haven't looked back since. <laughs> Tim continues to not only strengthen his faith, but also for those around him. It's a way for, it's helping me grow in my faith, because I get to help kids with their faith. So as I, like, learn these things, I'm like, oh, I get that. And then I get to share it with you guys. But there's one thing Tim likes that sticks out above the rest. My favorite part is that I get to see literally everybody that I know that goes to Carlsbad. What's up, Blake? Just the energy and the pizza and just the message are all that by itself is worth coming for, I think. If you're looking to join, Young Life Lunch Club will be held in room 7107 every Wednesday at lunch. Reporting for CHS TV in Carlsbad, California, with photojournalist Avery Gallup. I'm Michael Basista. Thank you, Michael and Avery. Peer tutoring will not be available until May 16th, as many of the tutors will be preparing for AP exams. Peer tutoring will reopen Monday, May 16th, to help students prepare for their final exams. Represent your class. Stop by Lancer Jacks or go to, on to lancernation.org to purchase spirit wear. Now we have Channing live on our Lightcraft studio with the senior Michaela from softball. Channing? Yes, good morning, Lancer. So I am sitting here with Mickey, who is actually the only senior on this year's varsity softball team. So what have been some challenges of being the only senior? It's definitely been challenging being the only senior on this year's team, um, definitely having to just go through all the senior year activities by myself, but it's been super awesome to get to uh, know all the people in the other grad years. Yeah, so with that experience, how have you been acting as a mentor for the other teammates? Um, I'd like to think I've, I've been a good voice and a good influence for the other people in the team and also providing um, good energy and, and helping lead in practices and games. That sounds super awesome, and I know tonight is your senior night, so with four years under your belt, how do you plan on going out on a good note? Um, I hope we push through, especially starting today, and get that league title and do well in CIF and either open or D1. Yeah, well, good luck on that title. And Lancers, today is their senior night at 3.30. It's a home game, so if it's convenient for you, please go show your support. And now I'm going to send it back to Cameron at the desk. Thank you, Channing. Attend CEF Summer School. CHS will host a summer academy for students to take a math, science, PE, or Spanish course. Register with the link in the graphic. Looking for a summer job? The City of Carlsbad is hiring summer camp staff as well as summer lifeguards. Please go onto the city webpage to apply today. Next up, we have Max live with speech and debate. Take it away, Max. What's going on, Carlsbad? I'm Max Harris here with speech and debate with Taylor, Noel, and Ravi to give you guys a little bit of an update on their state tournament and their up and coming national tournament. So, Taylor, how did Carlsbad do at the state tournament? We did really well. We ended up sixth in the state and first in our league. That's great. And Noel, so Nationals is up and coming. So when and where is that? Yeah, so Nationals will be June 12th to 17th, and it's held in Kentucky this year. 
And Ravi, I know you're actually competing in the national tournament. So what event are you competing in and what are your goals for nationals? My event is called Supplemental Debate. So it's a form of extemporaneous and on the spot debate. And my goal is to try my best and have a lot of fun. Oh, that's great, and good luck with that. Any shout outs? Mr. Hendricks, period one. Livingstone, period one. Oh, you heard it here, Carlsbad. Make sure to wish them luck, and I'll send it back to Peyton at the desk. Thank you, Max. All CUSD high school students have free access to Schmoop for test prep, homework help, and study skills. Log in through your Clever account. All U.S. high school students are invited to participate in the 2022 National Climate Essay Competition, registering at booksmotivate.org. Deadline for the essay is on May 27th, and the grand prize is $5,000. For our next break in the announcements, we have McKenna Hamilton live with Track and Field. McKenna, take it away. What's up, Carlsbad? I'm here live with some members of Varsity Track and Field to talk about the recent qualifiers for CIF. So, Miles, how did league finals go? Uh, it went really well. We had some great first-place finishers at uh, league finals, and they're going to go on to CIF. I ran the 3,200 meters with uh, three other boys, including CHSTV's Michael Basista. Uh, we all PR'd and went under 11 minutes, so that was a great way to end the season. That's great to hear. And Morgan, what exactly is CIF? Yeah, so it's a really hard event to get into. There's CIF finals and prelims, and to get into both, you have to be first in your event or make the qualifying time. And it's going to be all the schools in San Diego County. Awesome. And Johan, how do you qualify? So to qualify for CIF, you can either get first place in your event or you can make the qualifications, like Morgan said. So, for example, uh, my qualification was 41 feet and 3 inches for the triple jump, and I got 41 feet and 9, and then I got first place, so it qualified me twice for the event. Congratu congratulations. And McKenna, what event did you guys all qualify for? Um, so Morgan and I got in for the 400, 4x4, and 4x1, and then Johan got in for the triple jump. Well, good luck at CIF, everyone, and Peyton, back to you. Thank you for that, McKenna. Would you like to promote your new or existing club on CHS TV? Please come by room 5105 before school or at brunch to fill out a form. Writing Lab is available every morning during zero period in room 3211. No appointment is needed, just drop in. Math Lab will be available before school from 725 to 825 AM. Be sure to stop by room 7106 for math help. Now we have Mason live on DeGero at Vinaka to give us an update on upcoming finals and AP testing. Mason. Good morning, Carlsbad. As I'm sure most of you already know, finals week or AP tests are coming to a close this week. For those of you that still have tests, good luck. But if you want to get a little more than luck on your side, I do recommend coming out to Vinaka. It's a cafe here in Carlsbad. Most of you definitely know, but it is a great atmosphere, great place to study with your friends, get ready for those AP exams. And also, finals are coming up soon as the year is coming to a close. So make sure you finish those classes out strong. Like I said, Vinaka is a great place to come to study. Obviously, great food. You can tell by this mutilated muffin. That's all I have for you today. I'm going to send it back to the desk. Thank you for that information, Mason. For our last break in the announcements, we have Darby live on the Magic Widow to talk about this past weekend's Kentucky Derby. Take it away. Yes, thank you, Peyton, and good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here to talk about the Kentucky Derby, which happened this past Saturday, May 7th, and took place in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, the Kentucky Derby is actually the longest-running sporting event in the United States and dates back to 1875. One of the traditions held on opening day is for people to wear big, funky, colorful hats. This tradition was started by women for good luck, but men have taken a liking to it as well and have begun to dress up. So the whole race has 20 horses that line up and race around a one and a quarter mile long track. These horses are all three-year-old thoroughbreds and they train for about six hours a day for up to 10 weeks. Here's a photo of all of them lined up in racing. Um, the winner for this year was actually a horse named Rich Strike along with his jockey, Sonny Leon. His total mile time was two minutes and 2.61 seconds, which is very impressive, and he won $1.86 million. That concludes the Kentucky Derby 2022, and I will send it back to my anchors, Cameron and Peyton. Thank you, Darby. The Kentucky Derby for sure looks like an interesting event. Thank you guys for watching, and tune in tomorrow. Bye. Hi, Hi I'm Taylor Lomire. Occasionally on CHS TV, we broadcast live from our Lightcraft studio. The technology is officially called virtual production and is pretty amazing. We'll explain how virtual production is quickly changing the way movies and television shows are produced. Stay tuned for more of our Lightcraft segments. And of course, each day we will bring you Magic Window segments, live reporting via satellite, and live guest conversations in our studio. And you can always follow us on social media. Have a great day and thanks for watching.